Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel. My name is Vanessa and I make videos about music, productivity and health. You clicked on this video because you want to level up your 2024 practice game, then you are right here. In this video, I want to give you a short overview how you can rebuild your practice routine, how you can build um, discipline in practicing and how you can level up your standard in music. The first thing you have to do is to commit yourself. You have to say, I really want to improve my skills on my instrument or whatever you want to practice. And I think that's very, very, very important because when you're just saying, Oh, I want to get better, but I don't want to commit myself to do that. It's not going to work. It's like with sports or with any other thing you want to achieve. You really have to commit yourself that you want to do this. The second thing is that you have to build yourself a practice routine. What does it mean to have a practice routine? It basically means that you have a few things that you do every time you practice. And that could mean that you will tune your instrument, that you are going to do your scales or your technical things that you want to work on and that you work on your pieces and that you have a cool down routine. If you think of what a routine means, it basically means that you are doing something without thinking about it. And that's what we want to reach. We want to have a state in you that you are going to practice and you practice very well because you are used to do certain things in a certain order. I made a video about how you can put together your own warm-up routine. I will link it here if you are interested in watching that. This could be very, very helpful for you to get started. Or I have another video where I talk about how music can help you to get started to actually practice. Another very, very handy thing is to track your practice. There is this beautiful app which is called Andante. I use it a lot and you can track there how your concentration is on that day and how much you worked and when did you actually practice and then you can see when you have time or when you have no time. Another thing that is very important is that you should treat your practice as an appointment. It's an appointment with yourself and your instrument and it's as important as the other appointments that you have. It's just because it is mainly flexible from your own time doesn't mean that it is less important. And what I do is that I color block my week and I see when I have time to practice and then I block out these times. I explained this in another video, which I also link here in case you are also interested in watching this. The third thing you have to have in mind are your goals. A goal is something you want to reach with your practice. You can have yearly goals, you can have monthly goals, you can even have weekly and daily goals. I think it's very, very important that you uh, make a difference between all these goals. And how to set your goals is also a huge topic, which I also covered in another video, um, which is about goals. I will also link it here. There are so many videos I did already about this topic, but I think it's good to have a conclusion about everything you want to reach. And I think this goal video is very, very important. So you have committed yourself to your practice. You want to have a practice routine or you have already a practice routine and you have set your goals. What else can you do to level up your practice game? And the fourth thing I want to talk about is that you want to immerse yourself in your topic. You want to immerse yourself in practicing and the pieces you learn. And some things I can recommend is, for example, watching masterclasses about this topic, going to masterclasses where you also um, get to know other students who are learning those pieces 
or you can talk with other teachers about the pieces you are learning currently you can do your own research about the pieces or the composers or about the repertoire your instrument has for example you can listen to different recordings you can do there your research and as you're reading about it you're talking about it and you're like really 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 into this you get even more committed to the pieces to your instrument and to your practice and the fifth thing which is also the last thing i want to talk about in this video is that you have to be kind to yourself if you didn't manage to practice one day that's okay it happens to everybody or like you couldn't like follow your practice routine or anything please don't give up it's a marathon not a sprint and you really want to have still fun while playing your instrument you want to have fun um, researching about your topic and that's only possible when you are kind to yourself if you are like really feeling what is good for you and what is not good for you so please be kind on yourself and i think that's something which is very important and which also will level up your practice game in 2024. i hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to my channel that you don't miss any of my videos and i will talk to you in my next video bye